started my channel i think i owned one clone and that was it and ever since then which was about about eight months ago i've picked up a bunch of clones i have some brand new ones that i have in decan some new bottles so i want to give you guys a list of 10 fragrances i think that you need in 2023 so without further ado let's get it All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Randy, aka Fragrance Dude, back with another fragrance video. And today we're going to be talking about some clone and inspired by fragrances. I know most of these are clones, and the reason I said and inspired by fragrances is because some of these, the companies don't actually call themselves a clone house. So I'll also mention them as we're going through. But I have 10 fragrances here that are clones of very popular fragrances that I feel like if you haven't tried, you need to try in 2023. Before I get into that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. And if you like my content, consider following me on Instagram and TikTok. So let's just get straight into it here. Starting with the first one, which I'm gonna start out with a decant that I have. Um, because I just got, th I have three decants and the rest are full bottles. I, one of my subscribers, Eddie, sent me a bunch of decants of clones over the last like month. And a lot of them I've really fell in love with. And once I'm out of the decants, I'm definitely buying a full bottle. And this one is definitely going to be one of them. This is Latafa's Eternal Oud. So Latafa's Eternal Oud, if you don't know, and which I didn't know because I tried it on my live only three days ago. And while I was in the live, I didn't know. I always like to um, blind react to the ones that they send to me. And so whenever I first smelled it, I knew exactly what it was cloning just based off the smell. And that is Mason France, uh, MFK Grand Soir. Uh, Mason Francis Kirk John Grand Soir, which is my favorite amber fragrance. I actually have a bottle of that coming from Venba Fragrance because they were selling it and was down to 165 with the coupon that they had. Um, if you want to know how to get those prices, just ask me in the comments and I will let you know because there is a way uh, on Facebook to get that. But anyway, Latafa's Eternal Oud is a take on that vanilla amber lavender fragrance that you get with Grand Soir. Um, I was talking to Ross from TLTG on my live about it because he was on there when I was smelling it and he agrees that uh, Grand Soir is also the best amber centric fragrance out there. It really is. It's super smooth, well blended, focuses mainly on that amber with some vanilla. It's sweet. It is super appealing, not only to men, but to women as well. Um, I, it's not it's it's unisex but at the same time it feels more masculine than unisex i absolutely love the way that eternal oud does it the only differences are you can tell that the blend and the quality of the grand soir is higher than this because you are obviously paying 30 dollars. although this does feel more of like a designer blend so it is a higher than what the price is um, it is a better blend than what the price is and so if you're looking for a designer um, blend version of Grand Soir that gets you close enough for the price, Latafa Eternal Oud actually really does it. You get a little bit more of a woodiness because you don't really get that in, Grand, in uh, Grand Soir. It's more focused on that vanilla and amber and then a little bit of a lavender underneath it. This one has the, that, the vanilla, the lavender, the amber. It also does have some heliotrope mixed in there that you can tell is in the background and a little bit of woods. Outside of that, it's just the blend that's different. But if I had to say, this is one of the closest clones that I've smelled out there. And if you want to get as close as you can to Grand Soir again for the price, Latafa's Eternal Oud definitely does that. Going into the second one, I shouldn't keep staying on these all day, so I'm going to run as quick as I can through them, uh, so I'm not keeping you guys here all day. This one is by Latafa as well. It is Latafa Hamra. Uh, so Latafa Hamra is, if you can't tell by the bottle, is supposed to be a clone of Killian Angel Share. And just an FYI, the lid is super hard to get off. And I don't like the way that it's a box because all the liquid forms onto the box of the lid, uh, onto the base, I mean. So uh, Killing Angel Share is that more unisex. It is boozy, ambery, sweet, um, pretty much all of that, all together. And with Latafa Hamra, to me, it's a more masculine take on um, Angel Share. 
It doesn't get angel share 100%. It doesn't even get it 80%. I would say this is like 60%. It takes that angel share DNA and it really does something different. It is a beautiful ambery fragrance. It's a little bit heavier on the amber. It has almost like a spiciness to it. And then that booziness, that boozy quality, you can't really tell that it's there until you get further into the dry down. Um, it's a really nice, if you're looking for a slightly boozy, really sweet, uh, resinous, heavier fragrance, then that's what you're going to get with Latafa Hamra. It's great for the fall and winter. If you like the sweet fragrances, you like the almost gourmand fragrances, Latafa Hamra is gonna do that. It's gonna get you as close as you wanna get to Angel Share uh, while doing its own thing. So if you wanna be in the same realm as Angel Share, while being a little bit more masculine and not as heavy on the booze or the unisex uh, sweetness, then that's what you get with this. It's more of a heavier, darker sweetness. So that is Latafa Hamra, great pickup, and I got that for 20 bucks, so definitely go pick that up. Uh, going into the third one, this is one of the ones I was telling you is more of an inspired by because it's not exact, and they're not known as a clone house, even though they do very similar fragrances. This is by Masoni. It is Masoni Pour Homme Parfum, um, Parfum Pour Homme, whatever they call it. It's a clone of Blue de Chanel. Um, and so what I actually really like about this, I think it's Blue de Chanel Eau de Parfum that it's cloning. You could correct me if I'm wrong on that. It's just what I get from it. Um, what I like about this though, is that I actually sometimes think I find this better than, the, uh, than Blue de Chanel because there is this almost fresh, slightly sweetness to it that is, I mean, fresher and sweeter than what you get in the Blue de Chanel. It does have that blue fact, fact, factor facets. I was trying to say facets. It has the blue facets to it. Um, but with that, it maintains the blue facets. It's not as smoky. It's not as heavy. It's not as deep. It is fresher. It's lighter. And then it also has a little bit of the sweetness. And so if you like Blue de Chanel, you want a slightly different take on it. Missoni Pour Homme Parfum, or whatever the hell it's called, is a fantastic choice and it has a really nice magnetic cap you can find these at marshall's i got this for i think it was 17 dollars, 16 dollars, and then they also have a lore ohm sport um inspired by which is masoni wave which i really like as well but yeah this one is one that you should have if you like your blue de chanel's try it it is a little bit different of a take on the blue de chanel you should definitely have that in 2023 Going into another decant that I have, and this is probably one of my favorites on this list, no joke. No cap! Uh, this is by Paris Corner, and again, I don't have a full bottle. It is Amir Wild and Tobacco. So Wild and Tobacco is a clone of Red Tobacco by Mancera, and I can tell you that this actually does it better. Um, so Red Tobacco I have a decant of, and I've worn it, and it's a little bit too heavy for me. I, I like it. I like it. Don't get me wrong. I like it. But my wife doesn't like it that much. It's a little bit too heavy. has a, a lot more of the woodiness to it. Um, I don't know exactly what the difference, but I can tell you this isn't exactly like Red Tobacco. It is a lighter version of it. So while still maintaining a nice projection and longevity, uh, Wild and Tobacco has a beautiful like a moist tobacco, almost like the tobacco that you get in Harad, while also relying heavily on the saffron in this. It provides the sweetness. It is a beautiful, one of the best tobacco fragrances I've tried. I'm telling you, that I, to me, because of the way I feel about red tobacco, which again, I really do like it. It's just, I wear more things for my wife and she doesn't like red tobacco. She really likes wild and tobacco and it's hard to find right now. So if you can find it, trust me, you should definitely pick it up. Paris Corners Amir Wild and Tobacco is a fantastic fragrance. If you're looking for a sweeter, lighter version of red tobacco that leans heavier on the saffron and the sweet parts of the fragrance, while also getting you a nice, uh, like almost like a moist tobacco like you would get in Harad. That is very similar to what I, I would say. It's kind of like a mix between red tobacco and Harad in my opinion, but it's fantastic. Paris Corners uh, Wild and Tobacco. The next one is kind of a no-brainer. Um, so Club de Nuit, Intense Man, I don't really like the original. I haven't tried the other ones, so shoot me. Um, but this one I did try, and I love it. It is Club de Nuit, Milestone. You almost saw everything. Uh -huh. Club de Nuit, Milestone. It is a clone of 
uh, Millicene Imperial or Millicene May Imperial by Creed. It is your spring and summer, your melon, your musks, your sweetness, your sea saltiness. It is all of that. And it gets Millicene Imperial. While the blend isn't going to be as uh, high quality, obviously, it, in the first like minute, there's just don't smell it. I mean, for the first like 30 seconds, don't smell the fragrance because a lot of our moths, they take a second to to like settle down. And so this, this one's really no different. Uh, when you first spray it on, you get that sea saltiness, you get that melon accord. While it doesn't come off as um, natural as what you get in uh, Melissa May Imperial, I can tell you if you're looking for the sea salty melon uh for the uh, spring and summer fragrance that still gets you as close, super close to Melissa May Imperial, just sacrificing just a little bit on that blend in quality. It is fantastic and you can get it for like 30 bucks. Uh, Milestone is a must buy in your collection. And now I also have Melissa May Imperial coming. I already have a, um, a decant of it and I can tell you, if somebody isn't in the fragrance community and they don't know the difference between the two fragrances, then they wouldn't be able to tell the difference if you're wearing this or Melissa May. It is that close. It's that good of a clone. Pick it up. You won't, you won't, if you like that type of DNA. I mean, so obviously you can blind buy that because it's only like 30 bucks, but go try out Melissa May Imperial if you can um, at like a Nordstrom's and then see if you, that's something that you like. And if you don't want to spend that price on the Creed, then get that. You'll be just as happy. Going into the next one, the next one is another inspired by, uh, they never really came out as a clone company, but it, they are pretty much known as it. This is a clone of Spice Bomb Extreme. Uh, it is Spice and Black Vanilla by Cremo. So this doesn't get Spice Bomb Extreme 100% either. And so that's why I call it inspired by, but if you're looking for something that's similar to Spice Bomb Extreme, um, it doesn't rely as heavy on the powderiness and the um, black pepper that you get in Spice Bomb Extreme. But if you're looking for something that is really nice for the winter, it still relies on that sweetness, that tobacco and all of that. It's blended very nicely in here and they did a really good job. This is my favorite Cremo. So if you're looking for something that gets Spice Bomb Extreme 75% correct um, and you want something a little bit, has a little bit different of a take, almost a little bit, it has almost like a fruitiness to it. I don't know exactly what it is, but it has almost like a fruity take to it, like or a little bit more of a deepness. But either way, um, it's very, very, very nice. And if you're looking for something that, again, gets Spice Bomb Extreme at least 75% correct, then Cremo Spice and Black Vanilla will definitely do that for you. And you can get it for $19. Um, if you don't want to spend the designer price of Spice Bomb Extreme, you can go to your local Walmart and pick that up. Uh, going into the next one, I'm keeping my favorite two for last. So the next one is going to be a clone of Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultramol. You guys know this. I've talked about it. It's by Offnon. It's Offnon 9 p.m. So I'm just going to keep this one super simple. If you've tried Ultramol, which is pear, lavender, vanilla, if you've tried that, your date night, sweet, fragrance, uh, fruity, really nice. If you want something that is fruitier, and a little bit fresher off 9 9 p.m is exactly that it gets the projection almost right um it's a little bit less than ultra mall but it's good um it also has the same longevity if not just a little bit more but it's a fresher slightly fruitier take on jean paul Gaultier's ultra mall that is it off 9 9 p.m fantastic and you can get it for like 19 20 dollars as well uh going into the last decant on my list which it leaked on the label, so I can't really tell you, but it is Barouge per, uh, Perlador. Um, I don't. I think the company is Barouge, and then the uh, fragrance is Perlador. It is a clone of Parfums de Marly Carlisle. When you first spray this on for the first five minutes, it's synthetic. It still smells good, but it's synthetic. Um, once you get after five minutes and it starts to dry down, that is where it starts to really turn into Carlisle. Even though if you look on Fragranica, it's not going to tell you that these are similar type fragrances, except for under where people recommend fragrances that are similar to it. That's the only place it's just leaked all over my hand again. Um, but with that said, Barouge Perlador is a clone of Carlisle. 
once you get five to 10 minutes into the fragrance. In the first five minutes, it's still really good. It just doesn't smell like Carlisle. And again, on Fragranica, based on the notes, you wouldn't think that it is. Uh, this one relies a little bit heavier on the violet in the opening. Um, but as soon as you get about 10, 15 minutes, I took my hoodie off the other day and I didn't think I loved this fragrance when I first sprayed it on. I thought I liked it, but then I took my hoodie off of, after about 10 minutes of wearing it and my, it, like, it, I sprayed it on my hoodie. And so I smelled it as I was taking my hoodie off and I was like, yep, that is Carlisle. It is fantastic. It's really good. Uh, it's about $50 for this. So if you want to save yourself 160, 150 bucks on Carlisle, Barouge Perlador, again, after about five, 10 minutes, it really does turn into it. It's a really nice fragrance, really well blended, a little bit less, a uh, little bit more synthetic. Again, the quality here, these are clones. So they, you are subtracting some quality for price but this one does it very nicely again after that first five minutes. Uh, going into the last two, uh, this one is a clone of a discontinued designer fragrance. A lot of people think it's a clone of Zerjoff Naxos, but it's not. It's a clone of Angel Men Pure Havan, and this is Insurrection to Wild by Rayan Tradition, uh, Tradition, and it's your honey, tobacco, sweet, vanilla fragrance. And that is what you get in it. You get honey, you get tobacco. It's a fall and winter beast mode fragrance. It's going to light people up. It's not a big fan with women. Uh, they don't like those honey tobacco fragrances for the most part. Uh, Zerchoff Naxos is a little bit different. So the way I look at it, if you want Pure Havan, I wouldn't recommend getting it right now because the price is ridiculous. And so you could get the clone for 20 bucks or you can get the more expensive niche quality version that actually does that type of DNA the best with Zerjoff Naxos. Um, but with that said, this is a fantastic clone of one of the best designer fragrances for fall and winter ever released. And it does it really nicely. I think it gets about 90% correct. It does have a little bit different of a thickness to it. Um, but with that said, they do that honey, they do that tobacco, very nice. It's well blended for the price. You can't beat it. Again, you're substituting just a bit of quality, but you get the same performance pretty much. Uh, Insurrection 2 Wild is a fantastic pickup if you're looking for that fall and winter tobacco honey fragrance, a little bit more masculine, sweet, really good. Last one, favorite here. I am probably one of my favorites. Paris Corner Wild and Tobacco, maybe. Um, that It's that good. So this one is a clone of Parfums de Marley Layton. Talked about it a lot. It is All Her Remains Detour Noir. It smells to anybody who knows what Layton smells like. They'll still probably think it might be Layton if you spray this on. This has a little bit more of a freshness and it lacks on the woodiness, but overall it gets the aromatic, it gets that apple, it gets everything almost perfect from Layton. It is one of the best clones that I've ever owned. If you're looking for something and you don't wanna spend the 150 to $190 mark for Layton, and you wanna get something that just has an ugly ass bottle, but it smells very similar to Layton, All Her Remains Detour Noir is my favorite clone. I wear it all the time, love it. I've actually got two bottles of it now. So yeah, that's my list. Let me know what you guys think. Again, I'm not huge into clones. So with that said, I don't have too many. So there might be other ones out there. Let me know um, if you guys have some ideas of ones for me to pick up and enough people comment, I'll pick them up. So just let me know. That's the way that my channel works. But uh, let me know what you guys think of these, which ones that you would pick up. And again, I'll be back with another video. Thank you guys so much. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.